It is currently 4.51 a.m. And guess where I'm headed? Back to boot camp. Today is my first day back to boot camp post-op. And let me preface this with on Saturday was my first day back to lifting weights in the gym. I did take it easy. I definitely lowered the amount of weight that I was lifting. I definitely had to modify a lot of the exercises that I did because my body just couldn't do certain things because of the incisions. With that being said, I am so sore. My forearms, my biceps, everything is really sore still from Saturday and it's currently Monday that I'm filming this video. So I still think I overdid it a little bit lifting weights, even though I really lowered the amount of weight, the number of reps, it's just my body getting back into the groove of things. So with that being said, I'm going to be more mindful today at boot camp. I am definitely going to have to modify a lot. I can't do mountain climbers, burpees, really running at all. It puts a lot of pressure on my chest and it hurts. So there's going to be a lot of modifications happening, but I'm really excited to be back to boot camp. I've really, really missed it. Even having to modify, I'm still really looking forward to it. I'll update you guys once I get home too and let you know how boot camp went, kind of what modifications that I had to make. I also have a lot of other updates for you in this video. So it's going to be packed with updates, but I wanted to hop on really quick, say good morning. I did make my protein coffee this morning. I drank about half of it before I left for boot camp. I will finish it when I get home and get ready for the day. And then we'll make some breakfast. Uh, Lola goes to chemo today because tomorrow's the 4th of July and the oncologist office is closed. So we'll be going to chemo today. I think I'm going to go to Trader Joe's while Lola's getting her treatment. So I'll take you guys all along with me, but I am about to pull into boot camp. Wish me luck. Wish me lots of luck. Good morning. I am ready for the day. We're going to sit down and talk about life updates, lots of updates after breakfast this morning, but I'm hungry from boot camp. I'm going to give you guys an update on boot camp as well. So I think for breakfast this morning, I'm going to make a breakfast pizza. Now I haven't made one in a really long time. For some reason, it just sounds really, really good. So I'm going to be using the Mission Carb Balance pitas as the base of my pizza. I love these to make pizza out of. We've made pizza here on my channel on these a couple of times and it's just really truly a great base. They are 100 calories per pita and I bought these at Sam's Club. I'm going to scramble up an egg and maybe some egg whites. I'm going to see how much egg I get. I just want enough to make sure I cover the whole pita. And then I have pre-cooked bacon so I'm going to throw some of this in the microwave and then we'll top it with some light mozzarella cheese. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my oven warmed up. I want to put my pita in for a few minutes while I make the eggs and the bacon so that it can get a little crispy before I add on all of the toppings. So what I added was one full egg, one egg white, two slices of the bacon, and a quarter cup of the light mozzarella cheese. This looks so good. I added a teeny little bit of Italian seasoning to the top. Let's pop it back in the oven and get the cheese all melted. So here's my breakfast pizza. I'm not gonna lie, this looks really good. It smells really delicious as well. I did go ahead and pair it with some grapes. I'm really excited for this. Let me go ahead and eat my breakfast, get my water going for the day, and we'll sit down and go over those updates. So we're outside, me and Lola just kind of enjoying it before it gets too hot. We're in an extreme heat warning, so it's gonna be well over 100 degrees today. It's in the 80s right now, so it's actually really, really nice outside. I thought, what better place to give you updates than out on my patio? And I have lots of updates for you. First, let's talk little Missy over here update. So she has two sessions of chemo left. She actually goes today. She's been going every two weeks instead of every week. They're just giving her body a break and she's in remission and she's doing really well. They are giving her a break and having her come every other week for the last few sessions. So she'll go today and then she'll go for the final session here in about two weeks. Oh, look who's joining us, the crazy dog. So she'll go back for the final session here in a couple of weeks and then it's just, Fingers crossed that she stays in remission and that she does really well because I don't want to put her through any more, any more chemotherapy if we don't have to. And if we get to that point down the road, then that's something that we'll make a decision of based on how well she's doing. Lola's older. She's at least 10 years old. So it's really just going to depend on how long she's in remission, how she feels. She does get a little bit sick after her chemotherapy for a couple days. So it's just something I don't necessarily want to put her through again. It, but like I said, it's all going to be based on her health. And we're just going to cross our fingers and hope and pray that she stays in remission a long time. Can I help you? 
Oh. Somebody brought their ball. Can we just have a talk with our friends without having to play ball? So next, plastic surgery updates. I am officially seven weeks post-op today. Like I mentioned in a previous video, my, surg my surgery team said I was released to normal life as of July 1st. Normal life for me doesn't quite look like normal life. There's still a lot of things that I can't do. Now, I can luckily raise my arms over my head, but I can't stretch my arms over my head. I'm also limited on doing a lot of activity that involves my arms. So at boot camp, I'm not able to do burpees, mountain climbers, walk out planks, things like that, just until my upper body is fully healed. The incision on my back, the incision all the way around. Can you hear Palmer? Let me throw his ball. Ready? So I had to modify at boot camp this morning. Now I worked hard. I worked really hard at boot camp this morning. I was able to do push-ups. I was able to jog a little bit. I did a lot of squats. I did some upper body. I just had to modify some of the floor exercises. I did sit-ups. I feel really good about where I am as far as going back to boot camp. And I'm hoping within the next two to three weeks, I'll be able to do all of my normal activities. Now I did lift weights at the gym on Saturday and I'm so sore. My whole arm is just so sore, just incredibly sore. So I took Sunday off from lifting weights, took a nice long walk. I'm really going to have to ease back into the gym itself because I'm not able to do a lot of the exercises. I tried the chest press, which was a no-go. I tried the overhead press, just certain things I'm not ready for and I don't want to push it. I don't want to cause any issues with the rest of my healing process. So I'll be easing back into lifting weights. I'm planning on going to boot camp three days a week and again, just modifying as needed. I also have an update from Amy. She's doing amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and insert her update here. Hello, happy six weeks post-op from my 360 uh, tummy tuck and my fat transfer. Life is getting back to normal. I'm feeling pretty good. It's so nice of all of you to reach out and ask Jen how I'm doing, thank you. This is definitely, I'll say it again, the hardest thing I've ever done, but yet I am totally worth it. And I'm so thankful that I took this on and had Jen to do it alongside of. Um, so let's talk about my incision. My incision was very light colored until about a week ago and it started to turn a dark purple, bright pink. Um, this is all normal and totally expected. My surgeon, uh, we check in every three days, or we have been checking in every three days, and she says everything looks great. I'm um, healing well, well enough that I officially can go without my faha as much as I want to right now. However, that's not very much. Um, it's like a little security blanket, and I still do wear it a couple hours every day, especially between 2 and 5 p.m., as that's where I have the most swelling. Um, I'm still on a reduced salt diet, trying to combat swelling, and I don't really get too swollen, it's just more uncomfortable. Um, as far as the gym, I have started back teaching my group fitness training at the gym, and I'm not at my full potential yet, but man, did I need that for my mental health. So all in all, six weeks out, I'm doing well. I cannot wait to see what my finished product looks like, but what I see now is totally amazing. Thanks so much for all your thoughts and concerns. Weight update. So you'll get my weigh-in as usual on Friday, but I've been sharing in my weigh-in videos that since I had surgery, my weight's kind of been going down. And I also said that I thought once I started working out again that it would start going back up, and that's exactly what's happening. I don't know when in my entire adult life I ever would say that I'm glad my weight is going up, but I'm glad my weight is going up because I feel like I'm starting to build back some of the lean muscle that I lost over the course of the four to six weeks that I wasn't able to do a whole lot of anything. So my weight is climbing back up a little bit. Of course, I'll share a complete weight update with you guys as always on Friday. My best friend, her roommate, who's also my friend, and her roommate's daughter, who's also my friend, they are coming in tomorrow night and they're going to be here for the weekend. So make sure that you follow me over on Instagram in my Facebook group. I'm going to be posting pictures and things there. Rachel's actually going to boot camp with me Friday morning, so I'm excited for her to experience boot camp life. We plan on hiking to Mamak Mountain, the one that I did on the 4th of July, the one that I've done a couple times this last few weeks. We're going to go to the premium outlet malls. We're just gonna have a really 
really good time. And Rachel hasn't been here since we moved. She actually drove one of our vehicles from Washington to Arizona for us. So she's seen our house, but she hasn't seen our house with furniture in it, with painted, all the things that we've done. My friend Kelly and her daughter haven't been here at all. So I'm just really excited for them to come. I'm not doing a lot of traveling right now just to give my body a chance to recover. So I'm glad that they're coming so that I can see my friends without me having to be the one that travels. And then my girlfriend, Michelle from Australia, who actually is moving to Atlanta in August, is also going to come visit me in August. So I have lots of friends coming, which is really, really, really nice. Speaking of friends, I can't remember if I shared with you guys or not, but unfortunately my next door neighbor, who's my good friend here in Arizona, her family is military and they are being stationed in Guam. So they're moving in January to Guam. I'm so upset. She's one of my good friends here. Her group of friends has become my group of friends. And I really value the small community of friends that I have here between my neighbor Ashlyn and boot camp. So I'm really sad that she's moving. So that's been a little bit of a bummer. We thought that my boot camp instructor was also being stationed in Texas, but it looks like her husband will be going back and forth so that she can remain here. So boot camp is staying, which I was crossing my fingers someone would take it over, but it's staying. So that makes me really happy. There's just been a lot going on, a lot of changes, a lot of recovery, a lot of just getting back into normal life, but things have been really, really good. Things are going really well. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling positive about where I am. I'm continuing to allow my body to heal. Once all the swelling is gone and I'm fully healed about the six month mark, we'll revisit goal weight and I'll let you know kind of what I'm going to be doing moving forward. But I wanted to give you those updates. One moment for the ball. Drop it. It's the ball. Not a moment's peace in this house, but I wanted to give you those updates and just let you guys know kind of what's been going on. So we got some fireworks. Well, not really fireworks, but we got some sparklers. Fireworks aren't legal here, but these types of fireworks, they're okay to have here. It's kind of a convoluted situation, but we did get some neon sparklers for 4th of July tomorrow and then this morning glory, which I'm really excited about. So I'm hoping the dogs aren't scared of these. We are going to order pizza. I'm making a fruit pizza. I'll be sharing that recipe on Instagram in my Facebook group. And we thought we'll just enjoy the 4th of July with some fun little easy fireworks. So I just finished breakfast, by the way, the breakfast pizza was incredible. It was the perfect breakfast pizza. I recommend the Italian seasoning that really amped up the pizza. Finished the grapes. I actually just filled up my water bottle with my Motivate Recovery, which is what I take every day after I work out. It just helps with mus rebuilding muscles, soreness, gives me a little bit boost of energy. Really, really love the recovery. I have the Kiwi Strawberry today. Speaking of supplements, I tried out a new supplement brand. The brand is Inno Supplements or Inno Supps. They have a wide range of supplements tailored for women, which I very much appreciate. You guys know I use a collagen tailored for women, and I really enjoy when supplement companies really put us in focus and really focus on women's needs. I had heard really good things about this brand, so I went ahead and picked up the Female Vitality Stack. So this stack actually includes four supplements perfect for women. Now I've been using these supplements for well over a month now, and I have some thoughts. Spoiler alert, these supplements are fantastic. So I have to share them with you because I've really been loving these and they have made a big difference in my body overall. So the female vitality stack supports hormone balance, improves libido and sexual health, enhances circulation, relieves PMS symptoms, supports brain and immune health, and maximizes sleep and recovery. Now, you guys know that I suffer from inflammation. My hormones are all over the place, especially during my cycle. And I was really looking for some supplements to help balance everything out, not to mention give me energy, help me sleep better, and I take a hair, skin, and nail vitamin every single day without fail. So the first supplement in the stack is actually the Inno Drive for Her. This helps with sexual drive and satisfaction. As we age, just naturally our libido goes down, and having a supplement that's going to help get that back to where we were when we were a little bit younger is really important. This has adaptogens known for increasing libido and sexual health in women. This enhances circulation to get you in the mood while lowering stress to keep you 
in the mood. It helps with hormone balance, cognitive function, and brain health, helps stimulate and support libido, and, bruise, and boost arousal and stimulation. This is really great. All of these are gel capsules, so they're really, really easy to take. Results are typically found within a few weeks to a month of this product. Some people said it took a couple months for this to kick in, but if this is an area that you struggle as we get older, this supplement has been really fantastic. Next is PMS support. This changed my last cycle greatly. I have been looking for a PMS support vitamin supplement for a long time. I just never found anything that I felt really worked for me or it had really good ingredients in it or something that I felt would really benefit for me for PMS support. I have been, I took this last month for my cycle. You guys, this is incredible. It's a female focused formula that contains ingredients that have been traditionally known to help ease the severity of symptoms that come with your monthly cycle, eases your PMS discomfort, supports a healthy menstrual cycle, and combats unhealthy cravings and promotes a balanced mood. Now I will tell you my cramps significantly decreased, my cravings significantly decreased. That was really truly the thing I noticed the most. For me about the week leading up to my cycle, I could eat my arm. Like I could eat everything. I started taking this two weeks prior to my cycle, which is what is recommended. And those cravings pretty much diminished. I felt better. I was in a better mood. I wasn't so cranky. This was fantastic. Everything this claimed to do, it did. And I love this. This is honestly one of my favorites in this female vitality stack and a must have. Hair, skin, and nails. This is something I take every day. I've taken this for a couple of years now, every single day. I've tried different brands of hair, skin, and nails. This one was absolutely fantastic from InnoSubs. It's a natural formula that includes cutting edge botanical verbsinol, which, which works to boost your body's ability to produce collagen naturally to strengthen your hair, skin, and nails from within. It helps prevent protects your skin cells against UV rays, boosts skin elasticity, prevents age spots, and evens skin tone. Now I live in Arizona, it's hot here all the time, so I was excited to see the UV protection of this. I found that it definitely made my hair feel really good, my hair is healthy and strong, my nails are healthy and strong. Highly recommend a hair, skin, and nail supplement, again, especially as we age or being in a calorie deficit. Sometimes we don't get all of the nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that our hair, our skin, and our nails need. And this is just really going to help boost your hair, your skin, your nails, your skin elasticity. Highly recommend this one as well. I really, really enjoyed it. And lastly is a supplement called Night Shred. Now you can get this with melatonin or without. I did pick mine with melatonin. I take melatonin anyways to help me sleep every night. And this was something I was a little bit skeptical of. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie, but I fell in love with this. Night Shred maximizes the quality and quantity of your sleep. You'll sleep deeper and better while priming your body to accelerate the fat burning process. It boosts metabolism, enhances overnight muscle recovery, and naturally relieves stress. So I found for me that this was really good to help me fall asleep, stay asleep. Definitely helped with muscle recovery. I've been really sore since starting to work out again, and this has definitely helped with that. I already take recovery supplements, but this just gave me that little boost. And the melatonin in this, again, just helped me fall asleep and sleep really well. I have the black edition, and then there's the regular one, like I said, that doesn't have melatonin. I noticed results with the, with night shred within about a week after taking the supplement. And it's something that I take every night before going to bed. It does help boost the natural fat burning process overnight, which nobody's mad about. I really enjoyed this. As skeptical as I was, I really enjoyed this. So that's the female vitality stack. Now they have a lot of other supplements on their website. This is what I picked up. This is what I fell in love with. This will be a constant repurchase for me. I like every single one of these supplements. I will link the InnoSeps website down below for you with a discount. Again, the Vitality Stack is discounted because it's a bundle deal, but then you can add the additional discount on top of that. Kind of double dip your discount. So highly recommend InnoSeps. Glad I tried them out and I'll link it down below for you. So I'm making a quick run out before I have to leave again to go to Tucson with Lola for chemo. I actually need to go to the post office, mail my house payment. This is the third time since we bought our house just over a year ago that they've sold our mortgage. I don't understand why they sell the mortgage so often, but I had to find all of the information and I need to mail my house payment off to the new mortgage company. I need a coffee. 
I'm pretty tired. Going to boot camp wore me out a little bit. So I definitely need a second coffee. So I'm going to go to Dutch Brothers and then I need to make a quick run to the Dollar Tree for a video. So I'm not gonna give you too much info. I'm not going to spoil it, but I am going to be doing a Dollar Tree video in the month of July. So I need to run to the Dollar Tree. It is about 10.08 a.m. We don't have to leave till around noon to take Lola to chemo. Oh, I did bring a snack with me. So I have one of my Vermont turkey pepperoni sticks. I'm gonna eat this as a little bit of a morning snack before I get coffee. So it'll be this and coffee for my morning snack. So this time I changed up my coffee at Dutch Bros. I have sugar-free Irish cream with one cream and then an iced Americano with two extra shots. So it's four shots. One of you guys actually re recommended the sugar-free Irish cream. So let's try it. You know I love my sugar-free white chocolate. Ooh, wow. Okay, that is freaking delicious. So as promised, we're going to make one of my favorite homemade trail mix recipes. I let you guys know that I've been making a lot of homemade trail mix. For me, I like it better. I'm able to control what goes into there and I'm able to make different variations and try different things out. I typically do nuts and seeds, some type of dried or freeze dried fruit, some type of candied nut and mix it all together and make just a healthy homemade trail mix. So I'm gonna put this together. I wanted to show you guys kind of what, I wanted to show you how I do my homemade trail mix. So first is freeze dried pineapple. So these are little pineapple bits. I believe that they are sweetened. Those are from Sprouts. I love a good roasted pumpkin seed in my trail mix. I always do just a natural raw almond. And then I love this Nutcrack candied pecans. These are so good, you guys, so, so good. I get these on Imperfect Foods. I also get this from Imperfect Foods. These are freeze dried blueberries, no added sugar, nothing. So these to me are zero points. And then of course I count points for everything else. So let's make some homemade trail mix. So one cup of the dried pineapple, one cup pumpkin seeds, one cup raw almonds. I put in the whole bag of the freeze dried blueberries and then one cup of the candied pecan. And then all I do is put the lid on my bowl and then shake it up and that combines everything really well. Sometimes I'll put Lily's chocolate chips in here. It just really depends. We have homemade trail mix. This is such a great healthy fat protein. You get a little bit of dried fruit in there, a little bit of sweetness from the candy nuts and the little bits of pineapple. I have done apricots, I've done cranberries. I mean, you can really do any variation that you want. This is one of my favorites. It's kind of a tropical sweet trail mix. I'll go ahead and put points, calorie, serving size, all the information here on the screen for you. So I'm going to eat some lunch before we head out the door to take Lola to her chemo appointment. I'm gonna have a tostada. This is actually what I shared in Monday's meal prep. So if you missed Monday's meal prep, I'll link it down below for you. But we need a tostada shell. I made my tostada mixture, which by the way is so good. My little koshita cheese and fresh cilantro. I would put avocado on there, but I'm saving my avocados to make guac for tomorrow, for 4th of July. So I'm gonna skip the avocado. I might do sour cream. Let me put it together and I'll be back to show you lunch. So here is my lunch. So there's my tostada. I opted against sour cream. I think it's going to be just fine without it. It's actually really, really flavorful and good. And then I have one of my protein rice crispy treats. Also shared that in Monday's meal prep video. So this is today's lunch. We're off to chemo, second to last treatment. She had some anti-nausea medicine this morning because these last two are pretty rough on her. So I got the air conditioning cranked. We got the window down and here we go. Super quick Trader Joe's run for some staples. I just dropped Lola off at chemo and I have a coaching call in a couple of minutes. Hi, honey. Did she ever call you by any chance? So we just got home from chemo and I'm going to have an afternoon snack. I'm gonna make my yogurt bowl. A lot of you have been asking how I make my bowl. So here is what I use. So I do a Chobani zero sugar yogurt or really any yogurt of your choice. Today I'm going with peach and then I top it with fruit. Again, any fruit that you want. I have this mango that I need to use up from Sprouts. And then I put on some granola. Again, any granola that you choose. This one is one I picked up from Sam's Club a while ago. Then I add my favorite whipped cream. Again, any whipped cream. This is the marshmallow from 
Target from Favorite Day. And then I put a big scoop of Chia Smash. I love Chia Smash. I just got my six pack from Amazon. So I'm trying out all the flavors and this cherry one is so good. All the Chia Smash is amazing. It's four ingredients, cherries, pomegranate, chia seeds, dates, and lemon. Oh, this one's five. Most of them are four ingredients. Nice and clean. It's basically a jam with chia seeds, and I put a big scoop on top of my yogurt bowl. So let's put together the yogurt bowl so you can see how I assemble it, and then I'll show you the then I'll show you my snack. Both dogs are patiently waiting for their whipped cream because they get whipped cream every time I make my yogurt bowl. So I'm going to add my cup of yogurt to the bottom of my bowl, and then I'm going to add mango. 10 grams of granola. Just a little bit of whipped cream. And then I do a big scoop, about a tablespoon or so of Chia Smash. And that is my yogurt bowl. I love this, it's a great source of protein. You get in some fruit, the granola adds a nice crunch, and the Chia Smash is really like the star of the yogurt bowl show. So let me get my dog some whipped cream. I'm going to enjoy my snack. You ready? Oh, for you and for you. So for dinner tonight, I am making broccoli and cheese stuffed chicken breast. I'm super excited for this. Then we're going to have some rice on the side. So let me show you what you'll need for the recipe. First, you're going to need broccoli, light mayonnaise, salt and pepper. I'll link my little acacia wood salt and pepper holder down below. I bought it on Amazon, it's less than $10 onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. I'm going to make up this Trader Joe's mushroom risotto as a side dish. You'll need light cheese, chicken breast, and a red bell pepper. So in my little bowl here, I have my onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, salt, and pepper. I'm going to season both sides of the chicken. I did go ahead and cut a pocket in the chicken breast. You want to do that because we're going to stuff that with the garlic and the cheese. I chopped my broccoli up fine, threw it in the microwave for a couple of minutes minutes. I'm going to add a tablespoon of light mayonnaise, the last of my seasoning, and I chopped up half of my red bell pepper. So we're going to add that as well and then mix that together. We're going to stuff the chicken breast with the broccoli mixture. Just divide that out over the two chicken. And we're going to add a quarter cup of light shredded cheese to each each piece of chicken and then close that up. You can either cook these in a skillet or cook these in the oven. I'm going to get my skillet sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray and warmed up. So I added the chicken to a skillet with some nonstick cooking spray. We're going to allow it to brown and cook through completely. So the chicken is done. Doesn't this look absolutely amazing? I have it on really, really low heat, just kind of keeping it warm. The risotto is also just about done. I'll plate up dinner and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is dinner. There is my broccoli cheese stuffed chicken breast, some of the mushroom risotto. This looks incredible. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food. Tonight's dinner recipe is on my website. I'll put that at the top of the description box for you, along with nutrition coaching, links for everything I shared with you in today's video, including InnoSups, as well as everything else. You'll also find my Facebook group and links and discounts to some of my other favorite things. Happy Wednesday, friends. I hope you had a great 4th of July, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.